Hi and welcome back to another video. If you intend to stay off-grid and use solar energy, it is always important to note that it is a limited form of energy. That means that you have a limited um, daylight during the day as well as you also have a limited amount of energy that is stored in your solar batteries. So deciding on what kind of appliances you are going to use and how long you're going to use it is very important. So in this video, let's take a look at a very important consideration you have to pay attention to when you intend to use solar energy. So this brings us to the electrical appliances that you intend to use, especially when you are using solar energy. Every electrical appliance has the total energy consumed over a certain period of time, as well as the voltage it operates at. So therefore, going in for an energy efficient appliance will go a long way to make your solar system last for a very long time. Now, how do you come by this energy saving appliances? So that is when, when you're on the market or when you're going out there to shop for these appliances, you pay attention to its energy ratings. Now, different electrical appliances have got different places where these energy ratings are pasted at. Some of them could be on the side, some would be at the back, some would be in, inside the plant itself, some would be under, some would even be on top and so on. So an example for a fridge for instance, it could be at by the side of it, it could be at the back, it could also be inside. Um, for an iron, it could be under, it could be by the side, for a kettle also it could be under or as well as the side. And maybe for a TV, it could be at the back or even on the box of it. Paying attention to these ratings will let you know the amount of energy these um, devices consume so that you're able to make the rightful decisions on selecting which ones to go with so that once you come and use them in your off-grid um, house you're able to have them last for a long time especially the solar energy and you don't have your energy running out because you went in for something that was running at a very high wattage or needed so much energy to power up especially maybe an iron or a kettle or even microwave Yes. Also, the Ghana Energy Commission has its rating system where it uses stars to tell um, if the appliance is energy efficient. So, from one star to five stars. So, depending on the number of stars that it has, it will tell if it is energy efficient. So, most of the time, these um, energy ratings, which are in stars, are pasted on appliances such as fridges. Um, deep freezers, TVs, and, and so on. So depending on the number of stars that it has will tell. So if it's like three stars, it's okay to go with it. If it's four stars, that's very good. And if it's just five stars, then that is really, really good. That's like um, a very energy efficient appliance. So that is also good to look out for. That is even easier to determine uh, since it gives all the information about the energy ratings of the appliance uh, in kilowatts and tells you the total energy ratings and then shows um, number of stars it has as well. So that would also easily um, help in decision making for appliances which are smaller and hasn't got the energy ratings from the Ghana Energy Commission. You have to look out for the energy ratings from the manufacturer on the box as well. So I made a video about um, the electrical appliances I was going to use when I was considering switching to solar. So if you haven't seen it yet, just go ahead and check out um, the card at the top to see more about that. So once you're able to pay attention to this um, consideration, it is going to help your solar system last for a very long time, which is going to make you, of course, enjoy it. Another consideration will also have to do with the um, electrical lights or the lights that you intend to use for your house. So just as I was saying, all these electrical appliances has the energy that it consumes. So for instance, in our case, when we're installing our outside lights, when I was buying them, I didn't really pay attention to the wattage. So I went in for 50 watts each. That was a total of 200 watts. And I noticed it wasn't so much helpful. So I later had to ch change them to 10 watts each, which is now like 40 watts. So, 200 watts and 40 watts, you notice that there's a difference in it. And it's not like the 200, um, the 50 watts was so much brighter than that. What like the 10 watts is doing. 10 watts is doing almost something similar to what the 50 watts. Of course, there's a little bit difference, but 
it doesn't really matter at the end of the day so far as you're able to get a brightness that you want to so you also have to pay attention to the lighting system of your house you have to check the energy um, ratings or consumption on them so you're able to decide on which ones to go in for as well as your fans and any other electrical plants you intend to use in your house so that will be just about it for this video thank you very much for watching in case you are new and you haven't subscribed yet kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so i'll see you in the next one